perhaps after four, especially level eight. That is just all out war from both teams. Let's see. All right, going into game one. In the best of one, it's Black is International versus Burn X Flash. Folks, mind the rotations here. Where do these junglers start first? Welcome. It seems like, okay, Akai and as well as Kaja will start from the bottom. So Akai will have that orange buff, but Blacklist will prio that purple buff. So rotation wise, they will meet top side in the first few minutes. Oh, this is interesting, right? Because like you mentioned, there's not going to be too much of an early game here because most of the heroes that both of the teams have opted for are going to be reliant on that level four. We have the Xavier who needs that dawning light as well as Haji with the real world manipulation. So in the early game, they do have a buff for Burn X Flash because they brought the Matilda. It is going to help them to clear those waves, but the way that Oh My Venus is rotating here. Oh yeah, no, the Queen started early. I'm your ATM getting in a wise's face. Little Wanderer going over. Retribution used very well here. Kaja securing it. That's a small advantage for Blacklist. Both teams are doing their job, right? Poking, trying to deal damage, trying to give out information as well. But oh my oh. god, see that? What was that? Flicker. Oh no, he's a little too forward. Oh, gets that uh, uh, love strings on, but could not get the stun. Hmm. We're going to see, right? Because in terms of a gameplay, Blacklist, they're really used to these slow-paced games where Burn X Flash, they're notoriously known to try and end things early. So if this goes until oh. fall on five, but Z-Cat! Z-Cat! Oh, great use Ooh. of the Guiding <laughs> Winds. Thank you so much, D7. He needs to be careful at this point, right? He missed the flicker in that early part. He was a little bit too forward in his positioning. Luckily, D7 was still able to get him out with a guiding win. But if that continues to happen, Blacklist is definitely going to be able to capitalize on those mistakes. And that is why, also why Matilda is quite prio here with the saves, with the assist, with that guiding win. Can come to clutch when your team needs it. Okay, first hurdle. You can see your top side is already. Uh, both teams are already rotating top side. That's an early use of the Black Dragon form here. Edward jumping on to Sion, and here comes the Heart Guard. Can Sion get it? Oh no, first blood drawn by the Queen. Turtle here gonna be taken by King Wise, and there's an early dawning light. One problem I see for the Burn X Flash lineup is already they are behind when it comes to range. Uh, usually Matildas are used to try and move around uh, your, your main damage dealers, but here, He's been using it to try and save a sea cat who's a little too forward. So already in the early game, it's very tough for Burn. Which is quite interesting, right? Because sea cat is on a savior, which, well, his ultimate can be used globally. But now, I'm your OTM trying to somehow steal cheeky move. But of course, with that retribution, he is able to receive it. Now, blacklist, textbook black blacklist here. First three minutes, turtle, only first blood. So I guess uh, Burn, they need to be careful not to be get driven by the game play of Blacklist International. Hmm, when we're talking about tempo here, it does seem like Blacklist is still playing safe. They're not looking for anything too crazy because they also understand that they need to wait for their power spikes to happen, whereas Burn X Flash, they're going aggressive. Oh no, heavy spin on the Angela. <laughs> Hidden that. Venus falls, that's already a kill. Seacat in trouble, committing the flicker. Oh, Heb with the blazing duet. And that's already another one going down. Can they get it one for one so far? Oh, this is a good time to disengage. I'm your ATM. Got him. Oh, this is something that I think we haven't really oh. seen so much of. They're not done oh yet. Oh. oh, Black Dragon form. Oh, did they call off the heart guard? Are they still in there? He's still in oh there. Oh, my God. Oh, they're behind enemy oh lines. No. Coming in. Can they kind of punish? Zeon goes down. Edward gets the kill. Seacat gets a dawning light. Not enough damage on the savior just yet. They're not yet done. And they're going to back out. Wow, what was that? Eterna, what happened? A lot of team fight with Blacklist came still on top. They established a 2,000 gold lead. And of course, Oheb here farming gold. Oh, 2v1. Fury might be caught. Oh, pop it on a string. Fury's in trouble. There's three members here. Gets that Void Crystal up. D7 to the rescue. Oh, they're fine. The problem was that Burn X Flash, they were caught in the way that Blacklist was trying to set that team fight, but why? Divine judgment onto ATM. They withdraw his life away from him. Beautiful. Cash money. Beautiful, beautiful by Blacklist right now. They're really good at splitting things up. For the moment, we can see that Blacklist has, get, has been getting way better trades, and we're going to see what happens here around the turtle. Oh, I thought they were going to clutch it. Sion with the heavy spin. He really did try. 
He really did try, but uh, couldn't find that angle against the Kaja. Still a blacklist game here, it seems like. 2,000 gold lead. Burn X Flash, what can they do? Realizing that they sort of lost the early game here. Item-wise, they are slightly behind. Take a look at the gold here. Brody, 3,000. Meanwhile, Claude is almost 4,000. So even Oheb got to DHS. So again, Burn X Flash, they need to pick their fights because right now, it's not looking good. Oh no, Fury, can he survive? Haji keeps him in place for Oheb to clear clean up a dawning light just to check if they could get a cheeky kill in. Oh man, can I just say, I think Seacat Savior might be the one thing that can save Burnix Flash right now. But wait, down bottom, 3v2. Oh no, Sion gets slowed down. Few bullets in him, oh my Venus. Keeping tabs on the back line, Love waves out. Here comes Wise, and they find him. He does have the Divine Judgment on. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's a pull! There's a pull! Sion goes down Ooh. as well. Oheb, BMI on forward. They are in deep, taking down tier one. Ooh, so aggressive coming from Blacklist. They see the opportunity. They see the weakest link is Fury at the moment, realizing that this KDA is 0 1 0. They're doing a great time at punishing him. Meanwhile, Oheb already 3 0 0 KDA. And he's not even at the golden staff yet, but here we go. So much poke, so much damage, and I get what you mean about the fact that they're losing in terms of that range. They are playing the back row game here, Burn X Flash. They need again to be more patient here, wait for the farm, wait for the items, because Blacklist right now, it was 2,000 one minute ago, and take a look, it got doubled, 4,000 now, and I'm your ATM. Oh, Force and out, the Blazing Duet and the Heart Guard. And my Venus saving Oheb up top. I'm your ATM. I think it's another way that Burn X Flash can come back. If he can scale up and yeah. get into that back line again, make this range deficit less of a factor, then maybe, maybe Burn X Flash can make a comeback here in the mid game. A turtle is up. Haji answers back with an RWM. D7 very low. ATM dashing on through. Could not get that ult to pop off. But right now, I don't think it's a non factor. Burn X Flash, maybe they should just take it easy, take what they can from their side of the map. I don't know, because when it comes down to the team fight, it's going to be a little bit too difficult. Right now, Blacklist, they were relying on the fact that they can go in full. They're all dive heroes except for Haji, but because of the buff towards the Yeev, nothing can basically cancel that ultimate. The only person who can do it is Franco as well as Kaja, and the Kaja is on the wrong side of the team. Oh, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> the thing about Blacklist, right, I can see why they draft Claude. There's a Kai. There's also Mathilda. It's just so hard for you him? to yep. face check even. And there's a Joy. There's a Joy as well. And so again, they he has already the Golden Staff and DHS. Again, Akai, you jump in, what he's trying to do. I have movement speed, attack speed, and as well as that the DHS just melts any tanks. Oh no. Oh, have just picked up. Yeah, yep. have just picked up his Golden Staff. So all the more <sighs> he uh, there are gonna be some moments where unless it's a 3v1, he won't need uh -oh. oh my Venus help. But look, this is what I was talking about. Fury almost getting out of there soon as he dives oh into that God. bush, gets an ult off. He's the one who's torn apart instead of those memories. And now D7 whoa, whoa. gets on out, gets that dash, pulls Sion out of there, and they survive. That's the problem of the lack of CC that Burnex Flash has in their arsenal. The only thing that can, they can rely on is the Mystic Fields from Seacat, but if Seacat gets out of position a little bit, he gets taken down with the Divine Judgment coming in from Kaja. So what exactly can Burnex Flash do here, Gani? I mean, they just... It's a matter of... They need Divine Intervention, right? Blacklist, they are ahead, 6,000 gold lead, and take a look at the map. They are really good at controlling this map so that Burn X Flash struggle to farm. And we can see here, in the next minute, the Lord will be up in Blacklist. They are still just choking on Burn X Flash. They are low-key toying with their food, but let's see. Burn X Flash, they need divine intervention. Yeah, and, and, and that's going to come in the form of a mistake from Blacks International. But with a lineup like this, right? With a lineup that has global presence. Now, Edward just gets one on Fury. Here comes Oh My Venus. Sion trying to push him underneath here to turret. But the Black Dragon's going to survive. Going to get away with it. Here comes Haji to the rescue. Didn't need it much. So here's what you guys were talking about, right? They're going to start choking out the jungle. Almost took the life out of Sea Cat there. And now they're going to start taking these buffs and even small camels. Not looking good here. 20 seconds to the next Lord and Burn X Flash. 
They are again. They need to pick their fights. They need to realize that oh they no. have Xavier. But uh, uh oh, I'm your ATM. What are you doing? Doesn't have a divine judgment on though, so he is going to survive. Gani, you were just talking about how the Lord was away a minute, yeah? I thought Burn was gonna try to play it safe. I thought they were gonna not cross any turrets or at least show themselves. But they got another pick off down there, and it was on Fury. So it's so hard. It's so hard to be burned right now. Right now, Black was already on to the next objective. And as I was thinking about it, right, I see the way that Venus is rotating. Most of the time, Venus is on Venus's own. And so I thought that you could pick Venus off alone. But the way that he's rotating, it's, it's beautiful to see. What? It's so difficult to pick Venus off at this point. Blacklist International. They only lost Venus, right? Only one kill, and yep. the rest, perfect game. And Blacklist, with this first Lord, what they're aiming for is, of course, to take down the tier one and twos in the mid side, and perhaps get a cheeky base turret if Burnex Flash makes a mistake. Let's see the defense from Burnex Flash. Again, they are behind 8,000 gold. Yeah, what's impressive is the fact that Blacklist hasn't taken this mid lane turret. So the main artery for Burnex Flash to be able to farm is still up there. Oh, but wait, Sion, very oh, low. And ATM gets a cheeky push down bottom. So they're not out just yet. Now that's the thing that they can do, right? All they can do right now is try to play towards the opposite side of the map, find out where Blacklist is currently situated in because they're used to playing with five, they stick together, they're super Uve, and that might actually be the way that they can turn things around. This is what I expected them to play two, three minutes ago. Pick their fights, uh -oh. let's see. Edward initiating again with the Black Dragon form. Not committed just yet though, he realizes that it is not time, so he holds it back. Right now, again, Blacklist with this big minions coming in. They are trying to target the tier ones and twos left in the mid side, but let's see, Burn X Flash. Oh! Almost, almost there, but let's see. Again, the defense and offense. Yep, real world manipulation, putting up a box. You shall not pass, says Haji. Just stopping, deterring Burn X Flash from defending. And look at this. Oh, Sion's playing with fire. Here comes AM, your ATM. Looking to get an ult popped off. He does get it, but there's no one to help him. And here's mm. the puppet on the strings. Vengeance put up. Not enough damage. Flax International times that out. Run, Joy, run. Where's she going? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. ATM. Oh, uh, writing's on uh. the wall. He goes down as well. Stoppable for Oheb as well. And again, Blacklist here. Comfortable lead. And again, only one kill Burnex Flash can get. Let's take a look at the items here. Yu Zong, almost four items. Full items, Dominance Eyes, Hunter Strike, Oracle. So hybrid build as per usual. But take a look at the quad. Full item only with the Steel Egg Plates. Let's see, with the Siege, base rate number one will follow you. Oh no, the Bakunawa, the giant dragon goes into the back line, helping them with that inhibitor push. And that's permanent damage. Uh, that's something that Burn Flash has to constantly send someone to defend for. And here's where Seacat's gonna come in. Again, I've been hyping up Seacat since about minute three, minute four, because that's where a lot of Burn X Flash's eggs lie in that Seacat basket. The savior is actually gonna be their way back. But it's so hard since it seems like he, he's, he's behind on farm. He needs to help. He needs some help. He's bottom two. Oh, exactly. He's bottom two. How and is that? in the 13th minute, he's only secured, what, three items? So it's going to be very difficult for them to rely on the damage of Xavier, seeing that the damage is lacking in terms of the items. It's going to be very difficult for him to relay that message onto the members of Blacklist right now. And even if he does. He does burst, right? Who is there to be able to follow it up? Especially on the important members like Oheb, who already has the Wind of Nature. So even if there is a torn apart memory, the damage is not going to go through. Oh. And Blacklist with another objective, easy Lord. It's a free Lord, but down bottom, I'm your ATM was trying to make a play. Put, this is bad. Yeah, though. put V uh, in peril. And, oh no, at least they get away. Recall successful. I'm your ATM, the only one left oh. here again. He's buying time. Oh, and I think he's gonna get a look at that. Look at that run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pop it on a string. Timed out just before the stun comes in. And wow, he's running laps around Blacklist. <laughs> the great escape. I'm your ATM. Managed to survive that one. And But the job is not done yet. They need to defend this Lord. Blacklist International now. Double digits, gold lead, and again, two base turrets left. I feel like Blacklist, if they play this out perfectly, they can end the game. Wow, they really snowballed from that early game. It's tough to see. What can Burn X Flash do right now? The Lord is already marching there in the bottom side. I'm your ATM trying to buy time again, perhaps, to give 
his teammates some space here in the mid side. Yeah, so in, in this late game situation, I'm your ATM is going to be that bridge. Get that stun on the wise, maybe a few stacks. I'm your ATM in trouble. Pops the Vengeance, just survive. Dawning Light to help clear the minions. Lord marches on through, gets taken down by that base. And Haji, though, oh my lord, taking down that panda. Sion laid out underneath his base. Edward gets a little bit of heart guard action on. Dawning Light clears some waves again. Bottom lane, mid lane, top lane, no more base turrets for Burnex Flash. And this could be it. I'm your ATM gets popped Whoa. by Oheb, the Filipino sniper, making his way with dual pistols. And Blacks International just waiting for that last wave. Oh, it's not looking good here. They are two members up here for Blacklist. And look at this. Oheb going to the backside. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to help and Everything. finish. But down goes Fury. Down goes another D7. They're just holding off for no. dear life. Sion just barely coming back, but it's way too late. Blacks International takes the game. Textbook performance by Blacklist. That was a very strong show of what the defending champions are made of.